Hey everyone, it's Celeste and welcome to my booktube channel and today I am filming a book tag because I haven't done a tag in a little while so it just felt like, you know, it was time. So here I am, going to film the tag. Um, this particular tag is the emoji book tab and so it, it's this tag is a little bit flexible in the sense that like I don't think you have to pick a specific number of emojis and I also limited myself to books that I'd read in 2023 so that I'm not because so far as I sit here I've read just over a hundred books so that was already like just picking from 2023 was was books that um like a lot of books to look at so maybe I'll make this a recurring tag and do like another set this time next year I don't know we'll see but without further ado so um on this tag it's really simple you look at your most used emojis and you pair them with a book and you talk about why did you pair them with the book and uh, and the thing that that is interesting to me about emojis is that we don't all use them in the same way um, some people don't really use them all that much and that's cool too but um, so I I'm curious to see like how I use them base d versus how other people use them and how they would pair a book so like if, if you have comments, I would like to hear them down below, but let's get into it. So the number one emoji that I use um, is the laughing with tears coming out of your eyes <laughs> emoji. Um, I use that a lot. Like a lot of times my friends and my loved ones, we send each other funny things or we say something funny and we just kind of laugh about it. Um, so for this one, I picked... Um, the Murderbot Diaries. So I've only read number one and number two of the series, but The Murderbot Diaries by Martha Wells um, is about this robot artificial intelligence who is specifically like a security robot. And this one is different from others in that it has, they have broken through their like restrictions. And, um, and I just, it's so funny because Murderbot and that's what it they it calls itself um is very like just wants to watch videos of like tv shows and wants to like not it, it very introverted but also drawn and and there's a morality to what happens in, with murderbot that i find like also really funny but it's but there's a lot of like funny one liners and then in the second volume um, Murderbot is uh, working with another like artificial intelligence and the interplay between the two the banter is just to me hilarious and I literally do go ha, ha, when I'm reading it um, and so I, I'm gonna continue in the series because there's several more but they're like really short like novella size so if you haven't read them I recommend it it's like sci-fi but and, and, it, and it's like authentic sci-fi you've got to be into that genre but it's also you know fun like it's funny and you can kind of relate to what's happening even though it's centered around robots um okay so that was the most used one um another one that I use a lot and I I don't know maybe it's because I teach and, and and you know at work and stuff you know you guys know but it's the eye roll emoji Yes, I roll my eyes a lot in my text and things with people. Um, and so for this one, I picked... So for the other one, I picked uh, something that made me laugh, right? Because that made sense. It was a laughing emoji. For the eye roll emoji, I picked, some, I picked a book that made me roll my eyes because I was like, really? <laughs> and so um, the book that I picked for that was The Stranger Beside Me by Anne Rule. Um... That book is so big, needlessly. Um, I will give props to Anne Rule for like sort of pushing the true crime genre like forward because before The Stranger Beside Me, it wasn't as much of a thing. And like now it's very much a thing. And I enjoy true crime. Like I have to be in a mood for it, but I enjoy it. And um, The Stranger Beside Me though made me roll my eyes a lot because while it, it it gets into the facts of things, 
of the true of the crimes, the true crimes. It also she inserts herself in it because it's like also telling about how she knew Ted Bundy. And um, some of the things she says and some of the ego that come through that I was just like, ugh, and roll my eyes. And so um, I'm glad I read it, but I didn't rate it very highly. And I did roll my eyes a lot. And I would like turn to my husband and I would make comments and say, oh my God, I can't believe she wrote this. And, um, and so, yeah, like that was the one that I picked for that one. And I do use that emoji a lot. Um, so those are the first two. The third um, most used emoji that I have is the shrug, where it's the little person going, mm, you know, <laughs> like shrugging. Um, I use that emoji a lot when I mean, I don't know. Um, and so like, as far as picking a book, like I didn't read any books in 2023 that I was shrugging in the sense of like, I didn't get them. I didn't understand what they were. I guess I've stayed in a real comfort lane this year. I don't know. Um, but the book that I picked um, to go with this, and maybe it's a stretch, is A Lady of Rooksgrave Manor by Catherine Moon. I know there's some girlies that really love Catherine Moon. And it wasn't terrible, but it was like really smutty. And there was, there was a plot, there was characterization, but it was primarily smut, like smutty. And um, I didn't, I didn't hate it, but I was just like, I don't know. <laughs> like, I don't know how I got here. Um, it, and I think I said it in my Goodreads thing, be careful what you wish for, because there's times when you read something and then like you, you know, you're reading smut and you're reading and it's like, where's my smut? Like I've, I've read this many pages and haven't gotten to the smut. This is one of those cases of be careful what you wish for because you got the smut, but at the, the deficit of other things, I guess. And I was just like, you know, what? Like I was shrugging through that. Um, I also had issues. I like, there was one, there was one scene that like the consent felt iffy to me. And there was some like, I, cause I'm kind of getting away from it. Like it, like it was like they were having intercourse with monsters. And so that was cool. Like that, that wasn't a big deal, but it raised a whole lot of other, I don't know, kinds of issues or whatever. So anyway, that's what I picked for that one. The fourth emoji that I use a lot is the crying emoji where the tears are just coming straight down out. Um, a lot of times I use that one. Um, less as in I'm actually crying and more as in like, what was me? <laughs> oh no. Hmm. Cry. Right. Um, like dismay, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um, and for this one, I picked, I, for those who know me and love me, I'm not emotive in that sense. I don't cry during my books. I don't, I don't cry during movies. Like I just don't do that. I don't express myself that way. Um, so I picked the book that did pull at my heartstrings. I would have cried had I been the kind of person that would cry. Um, and for that, I picked um, The Anthropocene Reviewed by John Green. Um, there's humor, there's wit. And, and in it, each chapter, he's reviewing different things. And he did it in the style that he had when he was early on in his like career, like writing for um, like, a, I guess a digest type thing. And he was re reviewing, I think books. And so he's reviewing these other things. And for each of these, he includes facts, but he also includes like ways that they tied in. And there were some chapters in which he included some really personal things. Um, some of which had to do with like mental health and Ooh, yeah. Like it was, it was something. So I highly recommend that book because Yes, I am a John Green fan, but also like that particular piece of nonfiction is just really wonderful. And also in the audiobook version, he narrates it. And I think that adds another level to like the, the encounter with his writing, I guess. Um, okay, so one, two, three, four, that's the top four. So now I'm moving on to the fifth emoji, which is the purple heart. So hearts are for like, oh, I love, I care. I use the purple one 
because for me, it's like a way of showing love. Like I don't use the red one because for me, that's more like romantic. So I would, I would send that one maybe to like my husband, but like the purple one is like, oh, I love that. That's so cute. That's wonderful. Um, I'm, I'm, you know, I, I love it, but maybe not like romantic love because I, I could have very easily have picked a romance for this. But what I picked instead is a book series that I have been five starring my way through and I have found it's a new author that I love, not romantically. Um, and it is the series that's the Legends of the First Empire by Michael J. Sullivan. Um, specifically, like there's six books, starts with Age of Myth um, and it keeps going and it's wonderful. It's high fantasy and it's it's the same tropes that you expect to see in all of these um you know high fantasy type things you've got the elves and the dwarves and the men and and giants and there's magic and but it he does it in such a way that it is um it feels different it feels new like you know what's going to happen sort of you can see it coming because you know the tropes if you've read a lot, a lot of high fantasy but it still feels good. <laughs> like it's still, it doesn't feel like you're just reading the same old thing again. Um, and I also enjoy how he can create a large cast of characters, manage them well. They very have very distinctive personalities and it's just a joy. And I've actually been reading these through audiobook because I just sort of stumbled into it. Isn't that great when you just like stumble into a series that is a new favorite and you just happen to get into it. So I've been listening to them um, through my Audible Plus uh, subscription, but also like I've used some of my credits because not all of them were on the Audible Plus and that's how they get you. That's how they get you. So anyway, that is a new favorite of mine and I'm so excited to finish out this series and then get into some of his other books because he's got plenty of books for me to read. I'm excited about that. Um, the next one that I have is The Eyeballs That Are Looking. You know what I mean? They go, hmm? Um, I use this emoji when someone tells me something interesting, gossipy maybe, or like, what? Hmm? You know, I more. I want. I want details. Hmm. And for this one, I'm including a novella that I listened to it um, on the auto on the Audible. Like I used one of my. I think I, no, I bought it, or I don't think it was that expensive. But I bought it on Audible and listened to it. And I heard about this through an Instagram reel from, I believe it's. I think he goes by Easy Cat. And you've probably seen him. He's got some really great reels on Instagram. And he talked about this smutty book that dealt with a woman. It, it, the book is called Unhinged by Vera Valentine. And it's about a woman who falls in love or lust or whatever with a door. She has sex with a door. And in the audible version, when sexy times commence, there's like hingy door noises. <laughs> and I heard him talking about it and then I chit chatted with it with my, my, my bookish, my book friends about it. And I, in real life, I was like, hmm? Mm? <laughs> and so I did listen to it and I enjoyed it. it. It makes sense when you're in the reading of it and I don't want to give away details because I don't want to spoil it for anybody, but it does, it does have like, it, it makes sense. It doesn't make sense that I'm talking about it right here, but if you were to read it, it does. So if you're into smut and you want to read something that's kind of weird, um, or you're like, how? you should just read it. Like, and she has another book that I haven't read, but I'm, tempted to read that's called like squeak and it's about balloon animals smut with balloon animals i don't know if i'm ready i don't know if i'm ready but that's another one where i'm like hmm? <laughs> so that was that one and so the last emoji because i i think i did one two three four five six seven i did seven because seven feels like a magical number um the last emoji of my top emojis that i picked is the little stack of books because your girl is talking about the books she's hauling and unhauling and stuff. And so I do have stacks of books like, hey, what are you doing? Stack of books. <laughs> you know what I'm doing. Um, and so I 
um, looked at the books I've been reading and looked to see like a series, a series that I've been binging in 2023. And I picked Ice Planet Barbarians by Ruby Dixon. So I had kind of resisted reading Ice Planet Barbarians, but then I just was like, okay, I'm going to see what all the hype is about. And the first book I was like, mm, I don't know, there was some, there was some consent issues and it just, it was a little uncomfortable. It wasn't super uncomfortable. It wasn't like an immediate like DNF, no more, do not pass, go. But it, but it was enough to make me go, mm, I don't know. But then I read the second book and it, each book follows a different lady in the situation. Uh, trigger warnings for like trafficking because they're basically being sex trafficked through space and the second one the the lady that is the the main the female main character of that book in the series um so so like you know zesty she's like hey and she says what she wants and i just really got in, attached to that and then ruby dixon it's smut but also it's like romance but it's also like the world building is really interesting because it's more there's more into it than just be like okay we're on this random planet with these random aliens no there's a history there's a background and it's really interesting and I think I'm I think I finished book eight <laughs> in the series and I think there's like 20 of them I don't know I don't know I would have to I would have to go in and look but yeah there's a lot and I've read it I think I've read eight I think I've read eight of them. And I have another one in my Kindle waiting to be read, like waiting for its turn. And I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to read it because I want to know what happens next. Um, so anyway, that's it for the emoji book tag that I wanted to do today. Um, hit the, go down in the chat and make some comments and tell me what you think. Have you read some of these books? Um, are you going to do this tag? Cause I kind of want to see what other people have to say or what their emojis might be or whatever. Um, cause I'm nosy like that. Like I'm not even going to put on airs and pretend that I'm not. Um, but yeah, so I'm interested. Let me say like, you know, the eyeballs. Hmm? Um, so anyway, <laughs> thank you for watching. Um, if you um, are not a subscriber, please consider subscribing. I have other tags. I have other content. Um, please give this video a like if you haven't. I really appreciate that. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.